everyone, and thanks for joining us. This is a Lessons from the Real World webinar brought to you by Smart Grid News and Accenture. And our topic today is Secrets of Customer Adoption. We're very pleased to bring this to you, and particularly this topic, because customer engagement and adoption is so critical to our industry, but so challenging right now. So we're very pleased we've been able to recruit some of the world's top experts to share some of their learnings and some of their insights. I'm uh, Jesse Burst. I'm your host today. I'm the founder of SmartGridNews.com. That's the web's oldest and largest smart grid site. And we're going to cover three main areas here. And the three key parts, first we're going to talk about some research findings, the very latest research. And I predict you're going to get some, some surprises there, at least I certainly did when I reviewed it. And then we're going to talk about some of the best practices and some of the lessons that have been learned uh, by Accenture's world wide practice, and again, I think you're going to find that very interesting. Then we're going to finish up with a BC Hydro case example, and not just examples, but some of the principles that they've derived based on their 20 years of demand side program, so it's good, it's very valuable stuff. At the very end, I'm going to come back just for 30 seconds and tell you about a new nonprofit called the Smart Grid Consumer Collaborative that's doing some shared cost research and shared best practices. Some of you may want to take advantage of that as well. Thank you to Accenture. Uh, presenting these webinars and attracting experts of this caliber is a big effort, and it's only possible with Accenture's support and active assistance. And one of the things I've really come to appreciate about uh, Accenture, as I've worked with them over the last year or so, is they've got a big team of smart grid specialists, but they also bring important methodologies and insights that they've learned from uh, other industries uh, that have already tackled some of the problems that are now heading our way in the electric power sector, and this topic is, is definitely a case in point, as you'll see. So this uh, person is kind of a picture of the problem we're facing in this consumer space. You know, consumers, uh, as consumers, we don't like change, we don't understand the smart grid, we don't trust Big Brother, but we want choice, we want control, we want set and uh, forget convenience, and we want all of that uh, at low cost. Now, th our, this challenge of the skeptical, suspicious consumer is made worse by recent press and some bumps in the road of early smart grid um, uh, meter rollouts uh, that are really reinforcing these suspicions and, and, and fears. And as an industry, we don't know yet much about how to understand and engage and motivate consumers. We didn't really need to, and in many cases, we weren't allowed to do sophisticated uh, market research. Yet, many smart grid programs depend on consumer behavior change uh, for success, things like demand response, energy efficiency. So we've got to close that knowledge gap in a hurry. We've got to bring some science and pre precision to the job, use some of the tools and the insights that other sectors have been employing for, in some cases, decades, consumer research, consumer segmentation, other things you'll be learning about today. That's the challenge, because if we don't do this right, we're going to get backlash, we're going to get lawsuits, we're going to get foot dragging, we're going to get failed programs and unhappy regulators. Uh, and even long term, we're, we're at risk of disintermediation from a Google or a Microsoft or a Verizon or a Walmart who will come in and own the customer relationship around buying and uh, managing energy. But if we do it right, we can get buy-in, we can get engagement, we can get market pull, we can get customers as partners, and we can learn how to offer different programs and messages to different subgroups within our larger uh, audience. So we can do it right, and I want to introduce the first uh, the, uh, three people, or two of the people who are going to help us get us right. Uh, and I do want to remind you as well that this is part of the webinar series called Lessons from the Real World. That's produced by Smart Grid News in partnership with Accenture. And today's topic is secrets of customer adoption, so how to educate, how to empower, how to engage consumers. And we're going to start out today with Greg Guthridge. He leads Accenture's global utilities customer care practice. And he's been involved in customer service transformations uh, programs for 20 years all over, over the world in a number of different industries. And he's joined as well by Bart Schoenbart, who leads the research effort for the utility customer care practice there at Accenture. And they're going to talk a little bit uh, about what they've learned in their latest research, as well as the principles and best practices that are emerging. So welcome, Greg. Welcome, Bart. And please take us away. 
Hi, Jesse. It's Greg Guthridge here. Thank you very much for uh, uh, in allowing Accenture to present these findings from our recent survey. We're really pleased with uh, some of the findings and believe that it can add a lot of value uh, to all of our all of the utilities and energy providers who are struggling to understand how best to uh, meet some of the new challenges around energy efficiency and conservation. Today's objectives are to go through the new Accenture end consumer study in a quick flyby over the top five key findings. We'll quickly highlight some of the best practices and lessons learned. And then I'm really excited to have Jim Nelson from BC Hydro who will be joining us and offering some color commentary through the first part. And then we will ask him to give an overview of BC Hydro, which is, I think, a, a really fantastic example of how a energy provider is engaging their consumers in this new dialogue. So if you can move to the next slide, I'll give a little bit more context as to why we, we conducted this research. Um, really, we were stepped back from our smart metering. You know, there's a lot of momentum around smart metering and smart grid. And really, with this new technology comes all kinds of new and interesting capabilities uh, for energy uh, management uh, for end consumers to view and respond to how and what they're using, um, and for utilities to really think about new and exciting value propositions and programs. But we wanted to step back for a moment and understand specifically what some of the key challenges or potential barriers might be when, um, when, when, when approaching the mass market residential electricity marketplace. You know, many utilities and energy providers today do a great job of engaging a lot of their industrial and commercial customers in uh, thoughtful and sophisticated energy management. But really, when you start to look at that large uh, mass market uh, residential uh, space, there's still a lot of work to be done to really truly understand consumers and understand what's really going to drive their behavior and adoption. I'm going to pass over to Bart, who will facilitate us through some of the results. 